going on everybody it's your boy justin um hey so real quick i had a lot of people asking me about the vault that i had for the guitars had some buddies asking me some questions had some people seeing some photos of it at the shows being like hey what's that so figured i'd make a quick video and let you guys know the pros and cons to it if there are any there really aren't any for me um works great for me actually um you know what i did to build it you know what's made out of and just if you guys are going to go this route if you know you're in a band or if you're a guitar player some of the things that you might want to keep in mind before you make the decision whether this is right for you so well let's go on out to the trailer and i'll take you uh take on a little tour oh here it is all, all right so here we are out in the trailer i'm going to take you through some of the specs on this thing a couple things i did when i designed it and i'm going to tell you guys about the construction of it um it's pretty straightforward it's a little crude garage base but i mean it's solid so i'm happy with it if you don't like it then go buy one from one of the pros but this video ain't for you so uh yeah let's go through it so as you can see it is pretty much entirely made out of um half inch osp sheathing it's actually not plywood except for the bottom the bottom two um boards are plywood the actual base and the riser and um where the guitars actually sit is all plywood but the actual exterior is osb sheathing i got some one by fours got some led lights up in there um that hole we'll talk about that hole in a second it's right there but we'll talk about that in a second and pretty much just some dividers with some of that crushed foam that's in there uh, wrapped in velvet and the crushed velvet around here and it's got storage underneath for pedal boards there's six casters on the bottom and it's all held together with uh, wood glue and self-tapping screws that's it the whole thing now everything is done the only thing I still have to do is I'd like to actually put individual straps on here for each divider um, which I haven't done yet and when it's in transport I actually have hooks on the top of each side and on the bottom that hold um, the bodies and the necks in place that I just strap in with like self tying straps um, and then I actually have in here there is a little uh, right in here this actually goes I just insert it in there because I'm too lazy I haven't velcroed it in yet and then that gives me an extra power source um, for eventually I will put like some self recharging batteries in here on the shelf and uh, lets me power the lights by remote. So I think overall, the overall cost of me building this thing uh, with the lumber, the materials and everything said and done was about $275. Um, with just standard materials you could buy at any Home Depot and the lights I actually got a five below because I'm cheap. Um, yeah, but for, so sub $300 I built this thing. And it was, I mean, honestly, the hardest part was just 21 hours in labor. I mean, it took me 21 hours to put this thing all together, uh, mainly because I didn't really know what dimensions I wanted. And so I didn't have my local Home Depot pre-cut all of the wood for me. I did it myself, which had I have done that, probably would have made things a lot quicker because it, I could have just slapped everything together and glued it down and um, probably gotten it done in a day or two. But it took me about a week. Um, you know, cause I, I had shows and other things that I was doing. Um, but other than that, I mean, I'm really happy with it. I think it turned out really well and I've had it on the road for about three weeks now and it's given me zero issues. So let's talk about the pros and cons in this thing. A couple of the big reasons, um, that a couple of my friends finally convinced me to either a buy one or build one, um, is because I also run sound in the band for my band when we're out doing the Justin Taylor gigs and trying to, there's so many things that happen on the day of a show and we're doing between, we're doing between eight to 15 shows per month. So we're gigging a lot and not as much as some people, we're gigging a lot and we have this big trailer with a lot of space. And I just thought, um, just to take the stress off of one aspect of my day, um, pulling all the guitars out and putting them back in the vault or putting them on proper guitar stands, which actually are what I'm sitting on. You can see them down there. I do, and I carry those still for a reason. I'll, let, I'll get that to that in a second. But when we 
before we had the trailer, um, and I had people riding with me in my van that pulls this thing, I had to save space as much as I could. So we had to cut down some of the back line. The PA took up most of the room. The drums take up most of the room. So I could only really bring two guitars and a pedal board, which is what most guys travel with. But, um, you know, we trap, you know, we use ears and not having any stage volume it felt too sterile for me i re i don't really like using guitar profilers um i would much rather sacrifice the stage wedges and use ears but keep the amps on the stage it just works for us and what i want for my band but then what happened was because we had to save space i had to sacrifice the lower tunings and not having some of those tunings on stage actually really wore me out some of these nights, especially on those runs, we're doing two and three shows in a row. I used to tune all of my, I used to tune both of my guitars down to D standard and we would play wagon wheel and it's like I was using a capo for all the tunings that I would have an E flat guitar um, or a standard E guitar even because we didn't have room for all the instruments. Um, but now with this, I can fit, I can actually fit two basses down there on the end I have two guitars for standard D and drop C, and then I have three guitars for E flat, one of which is a custom 24, and the other two are SE 245s that have piezos, and I can fit an acoustic down on the end. So it's a nine space fault. I can fit as many instruments as I need for my band, and even with everything loaded, it's really not, it's not that heavy, and all the straps stay on there, the wireless packs stay on, so when I roll this thing into a venue we put it on the stage we you know keep the lid closed for an hour let it acclimate we pop the lids off make sure the guitars are in tune and we uh we go i mean it creates a lot less hassle now a couple of the cons to the, there's really only one downside to this thing um and the downside is is that some venues you can't have it on the stage which really that's not really too big of a deal um, cause if you have an elevated stage, you're not putting this thing on the stage anyway. You're not, you're not wheeling it up a ramp. Um, but if that is the case, you can just walk off the stage real quick and grab your guitar. As long as you don't have to go out through the crowd, um, just go swap your guitar and then go back up. Um, but that's also why I carry these. That way, if we do have to, um, take the guitars out of the vault, say for whatever reason, if it's just logistically... Um, we can't get the vault either in the venue or close enough to the stage that it makes sense for me to feel like they're safe and I can get to them quickly. Then we'll take them out of the vault and we'll put them in these little fender um, cases that I have down on my feet. Um, but it still it saves me so much more time and I get to have all my guitars back um, for me and my bassist. You know, we get to have everything on the road for me to play the best show that I can possibly play and it conserves my voice um you know a lot of people get too hung up on playing the songs in the key that they're recorded in I I drop wagon wheel two whole steps when I play it live I play it in E flat and open G with no capo um and you know sugar we're going down I play in drop C um ocean avenue I play in drop C uh, Dear Maria, I play in drop C, <laughs> you know, uh, lit, I play in standard D beer never broke my heart by Luke Combs. I play that in drop C just cause it's, it's, you know, why are you working so hard? You know? Um, and I like to try and keep my voice as healthy as possible. So if a song doesn't fit my voice, I'm going to either take it down or in some cases I'll take it up to where it feels comfortable. But most of the time I take it down just to, help me out um and having this i get to have all my guitars back and i also get to have storage underneath for whatever i might need to put under there um eventually i will actually make drawers out of those so i can put like all the wireless packs um for, like the in-ears and things in there and like strings and all but until then i have a separate little carry case it's like a it's like an old makeup case april gave me for that um and carry all that stuff in but uh yeah i mean what i can tell you is that for me um, and I use great guitars from PRS. Um, the necks don't shift. The big thing with this is that you have to make sure that you take care of your guitars. Um, you know, and I think people just get lazy with their instruments. If you're maintaining your guitars every day, when I get to the show, if the strings are clean, even if I had a really sweaty gig the night before, 
and say on one of my guitars, I have a backup for each guitar. So if I had a really, really tough night on one instrument and then we get to the next show and those strings are toasted, most of my strings in the summer, they're toasted after one show. So if I have to, then I'll just, you know, like my gold guitar, if the strings are hosed on that, then I'll just go to the black one and I'll change the gold strings if I have time before the get, you know, before the gig starts. That's all you can do. Um, just make sure your stuff is, you know, set up well. Make sure the guitars are set up the way you want them. And, you know, when they go in the vault, just make sure that you give them time to acclimate before you pop the lid off. As long as you do that, um, I mean, I haven't had any issues with it. My guitars have been really solid. So but thank you, PRS, for making great stuff. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think I built it pretty well. It's held up for about a month now on the road, and it's great. The lights are a must, because if you're in some dark venues, you cannot see. Um, inside of that thing. So the lights is a big plus. Let me know what you guys think of this. If you guys have ever considered building one of these or if you guys want one built, um, let me know. Maybe I can give you some tips or maybe I can even do it for you. Um, this is the first time I've ever done one of these. So I'm doing a couple more. Uh, I'm going to try and get some other versions, see how I can improve the design. And if you guys are interested in buying one, obviously there's a ton of case, um, case companies out there that build these things. Brady cases and key cases. Um, you know, premier vaults, all those guys, they all build great stuff. But for me, just with the budget that I've got right now, I'm not any rich rock star. I can't spend three grand on a vault. So, uh, for me, this works and it's sturdy and I feel safe with my guitars in it. So that's all that really matters. Um, put in the comments below if you guys have ever thought about having one of these and uh, what you guys think of the build. Um, let me know if you would ever consider doing this yourself. And as always, feel free to like, subscribe, and thank you for supporting the channel and supporting me. Um, come check out a show this summer. Uh, we got a month of summer left. It's September, and we'll see you guys somewhere out there this fall. Comment below, too, if you guys want to come see us anywhere um, that we're playing on my calendar, or if you have somewhere that you would like us to come to. Comment your city below. Take care, guys. Bye.